Alright, sir, I'm just going to go ahead and go first and just give you the floor, man. Uh, what a classic. I mean, you put the boxing industry, everyone's talking about it. What a, what a classic. After all the build up, after all the drama, man, just what do you got to say? How do you feel? I, I'm good, you know. I went in there to take the child back to my, to my babies. Uh, they're not coming back. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little bit gutted, but. Uh, everyone seems to enjoy the fight and um, hopefully we can run it back. Um, I leave that to Ben. But yeah, I think, um, I, think we, I think we can do that again. What an amazing night. I'm going to open it up to everyone real quick. To Fraser, but quickly to Ben real quick. Ben, recap the night, man. It's such a build up lead to this fight with Fraser and we've been fighting over over a year now. This builds up and it, the climax hit tonight in an absolute classic. People are calling you one of the best British title fights ever, if not the best. What do you gotta say, man? Talk about the night. Crazy, crazy night. First of all, congratulations to both of the fighters just for putting on possibly the fight of the year already. It was uh, it was pretty special. That, that was uh, intense. Wasn't an enjoyable watch. But I think either of the teams, it was just unbelievable. I think uh, look the, the the knockdown and, and maybe the, the the point deduction that. The, People would look back on and maybe question, maybe swung it into in towards a draw. But Fraser should be incredibly proud. He showed a, a huge amount of guts. I feel like uh, dominating the fight at times. But Fabio Wardley, he is the most. I've never seen a fighter out on his feet, but still as dangerous as, as what he is. He's, he's pretty special. It's incredible. His face was matched up at times, and he just kept coming. And he was always. He was always dangerous, um, but yeah, obviously got it not to not to, to win. Felt that perhaps we, we did enough. to what the main thing for British boxing, what an advert. That was that was incredible. Two absolute warriors showed a huge amount of heart. Fraser will, will learn so much from that as his first real fight in the professional ranks. I think people forget, you know, his ninth professional fight and uh, yeah, probably did just enough, but can't argue with the draw, it was an impre incredible spectacle and um, yeah, it'd be great to see it again and uh, I think Fabio might need a bit of time looking at his face uh, and, and his nose, he might need a bit of time there, but a special, special night and um, huge viewing figures and I know just what an advert, what an advert for, for British boxing. Absolutely, well, I'll open it up to the floor, I'll open it up to the floor if anyone has any questions. You put your hand well, we do have a couple mics going around. Uh, Fraser, congratulations. Brilliant performance and a brilliant fight. Appreciate it's very soon after the fact and it's probably not going to make you feel any better, but how does it feel to be involved in a genuine modern classic to British boxing? I think that will take, you know, a, a little bit of time to sort of, to get that to be like a, a nice feeling at the minute. Um, I'm a winner and that, 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 that's, I'm gutted, you know, I'm gutted. Um, I wanted them titles, I wanted to take them titles back to Bird on Trent and, and, and I wanted them titles for my, for my kids, you know, but um, you live and you learn, you know, I'm healthy, like I said in, in a few interviews, just this past week I've had, I've had people real close to me, there's family members, so and I, I know that this is, this, is, this is not pain, you know, that's real pain, um, I'm healthy, I've come through the fight, I've learned a lot, um, I just hope this man to my left can, can guide me now, you know, this is for boxing expertise to guide me in the right place, right direction, and uh, I think I've shown that you know I, 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 I can do something in this sport. I really can. How impressed were you with Fabio Wardley? How surprised were you that he was able to hold those shots in twelve rounds? Um, I, I knew it was tough. Obviously, we've seen it before, and we knew about it. You know, when he gets hit, he comes alive and stuff like that. Um, so I was expecting that. I, I just kicking myself a little bit because you, you just think. Why didn't you just turn the screw a little bit? Because I feel like at one point, you know, you feel someone's energy just going. But on the other hand, this is a man that's had so many knockouts. You, you've got to be a bit wary. Um, I wouldn't say he's the biggest puncher I've ever been in with, but he, but he definitely hits hard enough to uh, to, to make you wary to, to just you know go 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 at him like that. Um, ben, question for you. Uh, I think everybody in this room wants to see that again. How likely is it that we see it again and how likely is it that it's next? I think it's the biggest fight for both of them. I 
and usually that means it happens. Um, I think Fabio will need more time than Fraser, otherwise we'd be looking at it, running it back very, very soon. But yeah, I believe it happens. Fabio's a warrior. He wants the biggest fights, he wants the biggest nights, just like Fraser does, and there's no bigger fight now. Um, I believe we'll see it again. Congratulations. Fraser, so you got um, dropped in the fifth, but it looked a little like you slipped, and then also the, there was a low, low, low point deduction. Did you feel like those were genuine, and do you feel that's what kind of cost you the victory tonight? Oh, no, he, he definitely hit me with a shot. Uh, my, my foot was my foot. Yeah, he definitely hit me with a shot. Um, when I was going, I was going backwards, and you know, this is heavyweight boxing, you know, I'm not, I'm not um, daft enough to just, I'm not going to say I slipped off, a shot off on the way down, you know, it is what it is. Um, the point of deduction, it was obviously there's definitely no intentional low blow there, so that's not, that's not me as a fighter. Um, you know, I, I've got a lot of respect for, for the authority in this game, the referees and judges. I just think there might be a little bit of inconsistency with, you know, I think he got warned three or four times for the backhand and, and he even did it a few times where, where he didn't get warned. So maybe, you know, if, if he gets a point off for, for, for consistently doing that, then who knows what, like I say, you know, it's, it's, it's been and gone now. So this time I'm going to move forward from this fight and uh, you're going to see a lot more of Fraser Clark. Fraser, you spoke previously about the abuse you got because people said you didn't want that fight. After a performance like that, can I ask, do you feel vindicated off the back of all of that? Um, no, because I think winning the fight would have, would have really rubbed really, 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 really in their faces. Um, I didn't win, I drew. Um, but like I said, people can talk about being proud of this and that. At the end of the day, the title's all coming back to me. Um, so at the, minute, at the minute, it's a bit of a sad one to take. But it's not a loss, it's a draw. You know, so I keep, I've spoken to the team and I've told them, you know, let's, let's keep our chin up. Um, we will build for this 100%. And, and to everyone that died me, um, I've heard that about, about my heart and stuff, you know, I, I'm a clerk, I, I come from my dad and uh, if there's one thing I've got, you know, it's, it's the heart of a lion. Fraser, was the thought, was the uh, thoughts from your, from your corner that you thought you'd done enough to, to win those three nice titles back? Yeah, I think we all thought I did enough, you know, I think, I think the rounds that I won were, were a lot more clear. Um, I know, I know he had a, um, a few attacks and he's got a crowd in there. A big crowd, and every time he throws a right hand, you know they go crazy. Um, if it, if it, if that's in if that's in an empty stadium, is it scored differently? Poss possibly, but like I say, you know I, I respect the authority in boxing and uh, good team. Yes, um, I take full responsibility for, for my hand not being raised. You know I'm a man. Um, if any, I would make no excuses. I should have done more, and I would have been a champion. Just a question for Ben, if you don't mind. Um, obviously, it was a classic fight. The rematch will be even bigger. I know that they want to fight at Portland Road because obviously they're very strong. Is that something you consider, both of you? Definitely consider. I speak for Fraser because I know him. Fraser was willing to fight at Portland Road two fights ago. He, he, he doesn't care, he's a fighting man. He wants the biggest fights. But let's see. Um, he's an absolute monster. Did I think the Wardley Clark saga would go on? It's been going on for over 12 months. It still continues now. It's one of the best stories in British boxing. An absolute modern day classic, as, as Rob said. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll see it again. And uh, it'll be down to the teams to decide where and when, but it's an absolute monster. Fraser, obviously, you're giving yourself everything in the ring. Heart of a lion, like you said. When you got knocked down and then you got the point where you knew perhaps you were a little bit behind. How do you kind of like make sure that you're just going through it but not trying to get clipped and so far? This is, this is boxing, you know. Um, this isn't something I've just, I've just started doing two weeks ago. I've been doing this since I was 11 years old. Um, and I love the game. I study the game. So um, so I think it was just up for me then to, to go through the fight. You know, I recovered quite, I recovered well because I was fit. Um, when you're fit, you can recover. Um, I definitely, you know, I definitely knew what I was doing, I looked at the ref, got the can, I jumped up at five because, you know, I've, I've seen some craziness over the last couple of years with, with referees counting people out, and I know we've got this, this fierce reputation, so I thought we'll get up a little bit early, usually I'd get up at eight, but I, was leaving, I wasn't leaving it to chance, I got up, I got my sense about me, and, and I can't remember the round clearly, but I possibly went on to win the, win the rest of the round, I, I think, I'm, I'm not too sure, obviously, it's just happened, but it's what it is. I know it's a little bit soon after, but... 
as you were leaving the ring, what do you think is the biggest lesson that you learned today? Um, <laughs> keep my fucking right hand up. <laughs> 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 uh, and you know, I think, I just think I, I need to, I've got to be, uh, I've got to believe in myself a little bit more, you know? I feel like, I don't feel like he won it, I feel like I, I didn't win it, do you know what I mean? I feel like there was times where, you know, go on Fraser, I, I, can, I can hear Ben, I can hear people rings I know really, really close, that I can see people winning me, go on, go, go, and, go and do what you know you can do, and uh, you'll sort of change the gear, go and take him out, and that's what the best fighters do. Um, like I said, my first fall rounder, my night fight, um, or going forward, you'll see that. Fraser, congratulations and commiserations on the draw. Um, outside of the titles, what else was on the line for you? Had you faced defeat tonight, would you have strongly considered your status in the sport? What a ridiculous question, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a ridiculous question, I'm not, 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 I'm People might not agree, but I believe, you know, if I keep doing what I'm doing, keep improving. If, that, if that's after nine fights, think what's going to be after a few more tall rounds, you know. I believe I can go and, I'll go and win more titles, I really do. Thank you, Chris. One more question, then we'll let Chris head off. Chris, what's over here? Uh, did you say anything to Fabio after the decision and the email? Yeah, that's your other one. I congratulated him. Um, obviously, no, I said this all the way, obviously we embrace, you know, me and Fabio have had quite the build-up, of course we have. But uh, as you see, you know, I don't think Bad Blood was, was the right name for this fight. It was bad intentions for both of us, as you could see. Um, it, you know, it, Fabio's done fantastic, you know, in his career so far. Uh, but I, I thought I was a better man tonight. Um, obviously, one of the judges didn't think that. Uh, well, it's such his life, it's such his boxing. I'm here, I'm breathing. Um, my family's healthy and happy. I'll be back. You, you'll see more of me, and uh, I just think it proved, you know, uh, there'll be a lot of you people in this room sitting right here now. There's a lot of you lot have died me, and, and you don't have to admit that. There's a lot of you died me. You need the right dance partner. Uh, I think I had it tonight. The better the fight that comes up against me, the better the better fight you'll get from me. That's 100. percent These been, been so-called bin men and people that I've fought before, and that's been from no one's fault. You know, you got to pull out. Pro boxing it's a difficult sport. Um, I'm at the right dance line. It's probably okay to win. Uh, I, I thought I'd be in tonight, but um, yeah, we'll move forward for this. Thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.